Hi everybody. Today I would like to show you a, a small little script that I find very useful when doing uh, either API or script development in ePlan P8. Uh, the script is going to be available on my blog site, uh, so you can just grab it there and uh, then use it as described here in this video. So basically this script de declares an action that I called toggle property keys. Uh, the name is not really important uh, as long as it's unique within the context of ePlan. So what we're going to set in this uh, script is this uh, setting here, which is a Boolean setting in ePlan. And uh, it is used to display extended information about uh, other settings within ePlan. So let's see how to load and execute that script. So under Utilities, Scripts, Load, you just navigate to your uh, to the folder where you saved the show property key.cs uh, script and then open it. And once you've done that, you will see a new entry under the Utilities menu, which is Toggle Property Keys. So the first time that you're going to execute this, it should, uh, as opposed to me right now, it should say setting is now true. So what that does is when you go to your option settings and then select uh, whatever setting inside of ePlan, if you right click on the setting, it, it will show you copy path for setting to clipboard. When you select that, if you go to, let's say, a text editor, I created a new file here in Notepad++, then, then I can just paste the string or the name of the setting on which I right click. And in this case, it's user.partSelectionGUI.DataSourceScheme.LastUsed. So this name here is the name of the actual setting that is changed when you select from the drop-down here. And this, can, uh, this will be very useful for future API or script development when we want to automate the uh, setting of those uh, of those values inside of our scripts and or APIs. In a later uh, video, I will give you a small example of how I used this uh, the value that uh, I found to change to actually change the value of this uh, scheme here, which is the part selection scheme. So talk to you later. Bye bye.